Welcome back. back. Let's start with a little history lesson. Bungie was founded in 1991 with two simple goals. Goal one, develop kick-ass games. Yep, goal achieved, Bungo. Goal two, sell enough copies of those games to fund Bungie's ongoing quest for total, total world, world domination. domination. And you know what? This goal is also becoming a reality. Yeah, that's right. Bungie's recently doubled the size of its Bellevue headquarters, expanded its offices into Seattle, and opened its first international office in Amsterdam. So what's going on here? Well, quite simply, Bungie's making more content than ever. There's major hints of a Destiny anime in the works, plans to release multiple new games before 2025, rumoured reboots of Bungie's Marathon series, and a mobile game that's reported to have been in development for over two years. Bungie's even patented touchscreen controls for a mobile device and for a virtual controller. Not to mention decades more Destiny content. We got Lightfall, The Final Shape, and another expansion after that. But that's all in the future, so so what about now? now? Well, in this video, we're going to look at 10 spooky Festival of the Lost Easter eggs and a very interesting Lightfall leak. Yes, another Destiny leak. It's almost impossible to keep things private anymore. Well, that is unless you have a NordVPN. You know, sometimes a man needs a little privacy to indulge in his hobbies and stuff. Seriously, though, if you want online protection, Nord is a must. Think of NordVPN as your online bodyguard. It hides your IP address and location and keeps your browsing history private on all your devices, even when you're using public Wi-Fi. Now, I live in the UK, but with NordVPN, I can instantly switch to a US server, which means I can watch US-exclusive Netflix movies like The Awesome Police Academy. And it's super quick to set up. You just need an email address and a password, and you're ready to go. Instant online protection. If you want four months free, click this link that you'll find below, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you've literally got nothing to lose. Nice one, NordVPN. Right, let's look at five spooky Festival of the Lost Easter eggs. Five. five. The bobbing for apples emote has a few unexpected surprises. Yes, you can bob for actual apples, but where's the fun in that? You also have a chance of getting Telesto, Destiny's game-breaking meme gun. A fallen baby? Someone should probably call the police. And a hive worm. So yeah, if a Bungie employee ever invites you to bob for apples, say no. Four. Completing the first festival event gets you a mask that's shaped like a blueberry. Now, newcomer to Destiny will likely dismiss this as just a quirky bit of fun. How wrong you are. Hey, look at me, mother. I'm a dancing snack. Shut up, you moron. The term blueberry is actually a significant bit of Destiny terminology. This is Destiny's radar. The blue dots are random plays you've been matched with. We call these blue dots blueberries because they look like blueberries. Now, blueberry is also a derogatory term for new plays who don't really know what they're doing. Three. Three. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Or you can just buy this emote, but instead of a proton pack, you've got Vex Mythoclast. Which makes sense, because this weapon in Destiny 1 pre-nerf was actually busted. See what they did there? Busted weapon, Ghostbusters, very subtle, Bungie. Two. Zoinks. Bungie stuffed a whole heap of Scooby-Doo references into this year's festival event. This exotic ship is inspired by Scooby-Doo's mystery machine. The Hold Me emote is a direct reference to Shaggy and Scoob's cowardly pose. And the No Escape emote pokes fun at the cartoon's famously cheap running animations that were looped to save the animators time and money. One. Bungie made Gundam fans very happy with these new festival armor sets. For those that don't know, Gundam is a popular Japanese anime series featuring giant robots. Right, now let's talk about that potential Lightfall leak. So one of Bungie's artists posted a whole heap of Lightfall concept art on his personal website. Now, a few of the images show Callus emerging from a strange structure, just like we saw in the trailer. So what started out as concept art became this. The artist also posted beautiful art depicting Neomuna, the city of Neptune, which is the brand new destination that we'll be exploring in Lightfall. Again, this is something we saw in the trailer, but there were some pieces of concept art that I don't think were meant to be revealed because they were not shown in the trailer and they have since been removed from his website. Now here is one of those pieces. If we zoom in on the description, it reads Raid Boss Environment Design. It's possible that these images reveal early concept art for part of the new Lightful Raid. Now one of the images shows a boss room with five distinct sections. One, two, three, four, and five. Now this isn't surprising because Bungie's raid mechanics are often directly tied into the environment and require players to carry out actions in a specific way. 
order. Everything in a raid, especially a boss room, is carefully crafted and deliberately laid out, so it makes sense that raid concept art would break an environment down into five distinct sections like it does here. Now, another of the images shows what is clearly meant to be the raid boss. Now, whether this is the main boss or a mini boss remains to be seen. Now, this concept art shows the boss in a little more detail, and it looks like an early design for what we now know is a Tormentor, a brand new lightful enemy. And if we compare this design to another official piece of Tormentor concept art, it's safe to say that, yeah, this raid boss is indeed a Tormentor of some kind. Now, whether or not this remains the raid boss in the final build of Lightfall is yet unknown. So what do we know about Tormentors so far? This is Lightfall's new enemy, a Tormentor, an impossibly huge, unstoppable behemoth. They wield scythes, can attack from a distance, or bring you in close. And they have the ability to drain your life force. But where did these beasts come from? Well, as the Witness's new disciple, Callus has been gifted a dark army of Cabal, a new Shadow Legion enhanced with Pyramid Tech. So now you have the brute force of the Cabal combined with the power of the darkness. Now, Tormentors, although fighting alongside the Cabal, are a completely different animal. They are the Witness's most ancient and dedicated followers. You will be facing against the actual disciples of the Witness, and according to Bungie, Tormentors are far more dangerous than Hive Guardians. They're hard in solo activities and even harder in group activities. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And if you want to check out my second channel, click the image that's just appeared here. Yeah, I'm going to be making daily content on my second channel. So pop over, subscribe, turn on notifications, and eventually daily content on the second channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll speak again soon.